What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today, we're about to talk about how small baits in the fall can produce big bites, okay? So I got a couple of small baits right here that I'm gonna talk about that I've used before or that I'm actually gonna be using in some upcoming fishing trips. But hey, before we get into that, I just wanna say thank you everybody for subscribing to the channel, watching the videos. Man, we're growing it right now. It's pretty growing at a good rate. Uh, let's try to hit that thousand subscriber mark, okay? And I'm actually thinking about maybe doing a gift or doing a giveaway or something once we hit that thousand mark subscriber. Also, guys, if you want to help support me in some other ways, uh, I have my podcast, Real Life and Fishing. I'm going to put a one of the episodes up on the end screen at the after this one. There's going to be a link uh, in the description below. Uh, it's on all the major platforms, okay? But there's YouTube video segment. There's YouTube. Uh, I video the whole thing for YouTube. And then, guys, I'm also, as you know, I do one-on-one -on -one virtual lessons with Fish the Moment. If you're interested, I'll put the link down there below. And guys, let's go ahead. Let's let's talk about um, these small baits, okay? So in the fall, right now you always hear guys talk about, it, and you'll hear me talk about it, okay? It's either really small or really big. And guys, if you follow along with me from Fish the Moment Bass Declassified, man, uh, I like throwing big baits. And just me, every angler is different, but uh, for me fishing in Arkansas, I've been lucky and fortunate to catch big fish. My whole fishing career and adventure, as you call it, I've just always been a big fish guy. Not really a numbers guy. I mean, I can catch numbers, but big fish. Probably because I throw big baits. But now, guys, with the fall, okay, now there was a couple years ago to where it was both, and I mean, me and a good buddy of mine, hopefully he's watching this. There was a couple of years ago in the fall, we were catching numbers numbers and it was all bait related and size related so i'm going to talk about some of these smaller baits here like this one here is a lipless crankbait this is small okay i mean it says it's three eighths ounce this is uh i'm gonna take like the brands the yoziri rattling vibe okay uh, rattling vibe okay i've talked about these before but this is a little one look at the box right here it says it is two and one eighth of an inch pretty small okay think about that two and one eighth of an inch is three eighths in size though so it's heavy enough to make good cast and you can throw it on a bait caster still okay now let's talk about though before getting some more why small guys it could be bait oriented okay bait fish uh, can get depending on the lake you're at and the weather man there's a lot of small bait right now and they're migrating and 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 fish man just seem to as those fisher but bait fish are migrating they're moving in these creeks man the bass just tend to uh, go and feed up on them. Now, depending where you're at, it could be tough. Like where I'm at right now, fishing's tough, okay? But any moment, it's going to get back up to where those fish are going to feed, getting ready for the winter, okay? And so one thing about the small bait is, is it could be, you know, a couple easy meals of the day. You know, every bass, uh, I'm going to go to my man Randy Blockett on this one, all bass have different personalities. So some bass want to eat one meal a day, one big meal uh, as those water temps get cooler. And then some want multiple meals and they're going to chase these little baits. So this is one of that Yoziri Rattling Vibe, Lipsis Crankbait. You can throw these, of course, up and down the bank. Points, you, Deep Rock uh, bl uh, Bluffs even, that's one place I know people don't want to throw them. Uh, but, and then little ditches and drains, okay? Another one. Now this one's popular. If you know about it, you do. If you don't, you don't. Uh, I've caught fish with it before, but not like I know people have. This is the uh, Z-Man, excuse me guys, Mini Max Chatterbait. Dude, this dude's little, but it's still heavy enough and can cast. This is the green pumpkin color. I've trimmed the skirt up. I have some with the full skirt, some trimmed just to test and see that day if it matters for the fish. There's scenarios you do want it trimmed and not. That's another video. But this is a Kamikaze Swim On on it. This Kamikaze Swim On, man, is a pretty unique one, okay? I always don't try to match the trailer to it, but I try to keep it close this time of year. And I had this little orange in there because I wanted it to be a little different for this time of year. Um, but this is the Sunfish Swirl, okay? It's 3.75 inches. I cut the head off of this thing to put it on there, okay? So this little Mini Max right here is something I'm going to have on for my next fishing trip, okay? Bladed jigs, popular lure right now. And as you see, man, it's a little blade. I mean, it really is. Look, it's smaller than my thumb, okay? I mean, so, and I don't got big hands, but it's pretty small. Small profile, it, man, and if you've ever thrown these things there, they're like a machine gun in the water. You think original chatterbait or jackhammer goes, this dude's like a I mean, it just goes, okay? Uh, some other uh, small baits, okay? Now, I meant to mention this earlier. I'm not gonna talk about swim baits. I'm gonna have a whole nother video on a small swim bait. I had a trip last year fishing broken bow okay which is in oklahoma um and i caught him on a small swim bay i'm gonna talk about that in another video as we get closer to october i never shared that footage or put anything out on it on declassified okay i was actually filming for declassified that day 
and me and Johnny just decided not to share that footage, but I'm gonna share it on this channel, okay? I caught him on a unique, small swim bait doing a little trick, okay? And they only would eat it that day. I mean, they wouldn't eat anything else. So, I'm gonna make a whole other video about that. So y'all just make sure you come back, stay tuned, okay? But hey, look at this dude. It's a little crankbait right here. Now, this one was actually, uh, this is the Mega Bass, okay? There's other brands of small crankbaits you can get. This is the Super Z1, okay? Now, this little guy needs to be thrown on a spinning rod. And, and if any of you do watch Declassified Fish at the moment, I got this out of Randy's playbook. I've edited enough of his videos and watched him catch fish on these small little crankbaits. Johnny from Fish at the Moment has as well. So this is something I'm going to have on for this upcoming week. I'm getting ready for a high school event, guys, as I film this. So I need to find some, some ways to catch fish, uh, target fish, for my kids that's going to be in my boat. Okay, so that's one thing I'm trying to do with this, all right? So this little Super Z1 right here, I mean, this is something, though, it's going to deflect off wood. You can throw it around rock, rip wrap, just real change up your retrieves. Something easy to fish, okay? Now, another thing, okay, and, and this is, a, I'm going to get into offshore kind of fishing here, but then I have one little sneaky after this, okay? This is a little hair jig. Now, hair jigs, you always hear about guys for the summer, like big hair jigs. Tennessee River hair jigs, I mean, I've talked about the hair jigs, but this is a small one. This is a queen tackle, okay? Queen tackle. Uh, I mean, what's the name of it? Here it is. They call it the ping jig. Not going to tell you why they call it the ping jig. That's another day. This is 3 8 quarters ounce, but they got other sizes you can get. I Man, this is little, okay? Little, small hook, strong hook. But this is something I would try offshore, okay? Now, not around wood because uh, it's an open hook. Now, other hair jigs. I know I've thrown small hair jigs in the winter, okay? Works well at Washtaw guys, the Gray, Hamilton, and uh, Lakes. You know, those, those are Highland Reservoirs for my guys that are watching. But I'm actually fishing the Lowland Reservoir this upcoming week. So this is going to be something we're trying to open water for fishing going to be more offshore, okay? Now, if there's small bait fish in the area. Now, guys, if you're fishing a lake, my Texas dudes, fishing or in California probably too, or, you know, wherever you're at, okay? If your lake has big bait and, there's, and you're seeing big bait, you then need a bigger size bait. But if you're around small bait, that's what this is for again, okay, before you guys leave a comment. Now, here's my little sneaky one that I'm going to try. That relates to that hair jig, okay? Now, this one's actually, looking at all the other lures, it's kind of the size of um, this here, but it's a little bigger, okay? I'm going to go pull out Josh Jones's uh, little trick this week, and I'm going to throw this swim jig without a trailer, okay, for potentially offshore fish or schooling fish, okay, fish that are schooling around these bait balls, um, with this six inch braid swim jig. As you guys might know or see with Josh Jones, he throws these at those uh, big bass, anywhere from Oklahoma, Texas, wherever he fishes really. He'll throw it without the weed guard, but I'm gonna be fishing in timber, so I want a weed guard. But this is just something a little different, subtle. I'm gonna try to throw at fish if I see schooling in the area, okay, or on the bottom, okay? It could be kind of like a hair jig. I might even fish this a little bit like a hair jig. But it's just something different. I think them fish that are schooling and that are like in the lake I'm at, there's been some schooling action, some fish around points just busting. I don't think they've ever seen something like this. So I'm going to try something different. It might not work. It might work, guys. If it does work, you'll, you know, just check out my fishing Facebook page. You'll you'll see a fish catch from it or I don't show all my catches. I, I'm, okay, so I don't want to lie to you guys, all right? So anyway, but I'm going to give this a shot, okay? I'm literally fishing it like this, okay? And if you want more info on the swim jig fish like this, man, leave me a comment. And uh, hopefully I might, I might make a video about it. I, I, I've done this before and caught some little fish. I've not caught fish like Josh Jones is doing it, okay? I've just, I've not, all right? So, but I'd like to, okay? But I've caught big fish doing other things. So, guys, uh, out of all these little lures here, I got everything here. I think for me, my one of the most success has been the little smaller trap, okay? But what has been your most successful smaller lure for the fall? Just my question to you guys. And I appreciate you watching. Let me know of any other additional content you'd like to see ideas. I've got some ideas, okay? So far on the channel, I've had a, some two fishing vlog styles. I think this is my second or third just talking to you guys about techniques and strategies. And then uh, I've done some breakdowns uh, um, as maps as well. But a bunch of variety on the channel. Appreciate you guys. Be looking to come back for our high school fishing report. Uh, once again, I'm a high school coach for Nashville Scrappers down here in Nashville, Arkansas. It's fun, and uh, it's good to be around kids and be able to help get kids, you know, kind of get kids in the sport as we're trying to uh, get it to grow. Appreciate you guys. Hey, and then we'll see you on the next one.